PJ hot. Morgan Gumbo have got a bunch of special guests in here tonight. We're talking spicy hot games. Before we get to the Chuck on games, there is one game I want to talk about because it's a game my wife and I have been obsessed with. Friends, I've been playing Tether every night. I can't really describe any other game that I've played like this. It's a tableau game, and you're playing out of your hand, playing cards out of your hand. And the cards have numbers. Okay, so Kevin and Keller are going, okay, that's a 1,000 games we played. But it's got those cards like in Scout where mm. the numbers, depending on if you have it up or down. Okay. And the theme is that the astronauts in your hand and the astronauts on the side of the board – uh, let's see if I have a shot of it. I don't. But astronauts are on the side of the board are just kind of floating in space around the space station. And we're trying to gather them all in. Maybe like the worst nightmare you've ever had where somehow you got unhooked from the space station at 14,000 miles an hour. Right. And you're you know, trying to get back in. But but that's what that's the theme of this game. So the, the rules are simple. You're only doing one or one of two things. You're either playing a card to the tableau and that's just connecting cards in se sequential order or you're playing a card to those cards that are on the side that are just you know that are lost right now that aren't aren't on the tableau yet and you're doing that to get more cards you'll dump a card out there knowing that your opponent could, could get it but you can pick up one of those cards that are loose or some cards from the draw deck so that's the way to build back your hand but the twist is that when you play those cards Steve, you and I are facing each other, right? Mm -hmm. On my side of the table, I'm building them horizontally, left to right. You're building them vertically from you to me. So the, the And remember, the numbers are reversed for you than they are for me. So this is what you get. I'm You're staring at this hand that I have here, right? Let me see if I can solo that, solo that in for you. You're staring at this hand, and then all of a sudden, you're looking at this on the table. But to you, the numbers are the big ones. The tiny ones are the numbers the other side, which you have to kind of ignore. And I'm trying to build horizontally. Here's why. Because every time we get a group of astronauts that are 6, 10, or 14, we score for the horizontal or and for the vertical. So I score for my horizontal points. Steve scores but the vertical points. Here's a great one that uh, Snow Bunny got, where she she got five points, and I only got two, because I'm doing the horizontal. She's doing the uh, the vertical, which is five. Mm. That's the twist in this game: is that we, we're competing as to how we're trying to build out this this tableau from vertical, and and this the the neat little score thing that you do. The game only takes about ten or fifteen minutes. But it is oh, it's so wicked. Uh, it's 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 the first couple of rounds. I I honestly, you just kind of stare at your cards and go, how, how can I even get anywhere with this? And then by the time you get that third and fourth card played, all of a sudden the board starts looking like something. You got all these groups of astronauts everywhere. You got some cards in your hand, and you know that if you play that thirty, and then you grab that loose twenty nine, and then you pull in those two cards that Snow Bunny had already that were 28 and 27, but she didn't think they were 28 and 27 mm -hmm. because she's looking at it a different way. And now you slide it in there, and now you've got six mm -hmm. cards all together, and you score four points before she can even get a, a vertical line in. So what do you think? Does that sound like something <clears throat> anybody would be interested in? My brain is melting, but I want to try it. <laughs> Was that a preview copy, or is this out in the wild? It's out in the wild. It's uh, from How to Steam Broccoli Games. Mark McGee's the uh, designer. The artist is Eric... Hibbler, and I'm pretty sure it's out now, so you should see it. But yeah, this is a review copy. I should say that it is it is a review copy. But wow, ten minute game. That's what I just gave you is 99% of the rules. There's a couple little special mm -hmm. edge cases that you have to that you have to worry about. But 99% of the rules are that play a card out of your hand, and then connect cards on the tableau or in the loose cards, or play a card to the loose cards, and then get a couple of cards back. That's it. That's the whole game. But Oh man, super thinky. I think Chris may have given us a new tagline for the gumbo. What's that? I am very confused, but I love the enthusiasm. <laughs> that might that might that might be that might be your new brand. 
I, you know, I had, I had that page on the gumbo that has all the, the funny little things people have said about the show, and that'll be the next one, right? <laughs> BJ, confused but enthusiastic. Yeah. <laughs> I love uh, it. Yeah. So, <laughs> any other thoughts? This sounds interesting. I'd give this a go, but it does seem like the the upside downness of it might be the kind of thing where you want to have people who are equally into it, because mm -hmm. if if it's not evenly matched, you're going to be potentially stealing an awful lot from the other person, maybe steamrolling them. So well, I will say, there's a uh, two parts for that. It is two or four, so you can play okay. with the two partners. Oh. The other okay. thing is the three in-game con conditions are when somebody gets to when when the team the two players gets to a 14 astronaut that immediately ends the game we score that 14 one and then it, we we count up the points or the deck runs out then everybody gets another turn or either side gets ahead by 6 because the game is so short it's one of those games where you just shuffle the cards up and play again so if somebody gets ahead by 6 they're dominating just okay. reshuffle they're call it a win reshuffle okay. so okay. that steam roll is built into the game to where it'll just okay. reset at that point. So, so four teams. players played in teams of two? Teams of two. That's good. Because player four having to build on the fourth dimension would be pretty... That would pretty be... Unbalanced. <laughs> it's the, 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 the new edition is going to be called the three-body problem. <laughs> so yeah. we'll see if that's going to work. All right. So that is um, that is Tether, Tether from How to Steam Broccoli Games and designer Mark McGee. Check that out.